Okay, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial and in this one we are going to talk about the modulator, the AHD on release. So this is the sound I'm using and this is the, cl the clip I'm using. So it's just some chords and I'm just cutting the, you know, the other chords. So we are going to use this one and this one. It's pretty simple and I have a nice uh, pulse synth with a little bit of delay and a little bit of reverb and it sounds like this. Pretty simple, right? And notice that there is a big gap right here. We are just playing the notes, then we release the notes, and then we get silence. All right, so, okay, so this is gonna be relevant in a minute. So uh, as soon as I go here, I get the AHD on release. By default, it's gonna be per voice. I'm gonna disable this, and we're gonna see why in a minute. So, for now, this is what it's going to do, is going to do, uh, it's pretty simple. Every time we release a key, or we press some keys and then we release them. This is going to, uh, uh, you know, give an instruction of how we want to run a modulation, but it's only gonna happen when we release the keys. And if I play this, we're gonna see it. Notice that as soon as the uh, we release the keys, we see the, right here, the motion, the envelope. So that's it. That's what this, what, what it does. It's going to generate an envelope when we release the keys. Now, of course, uh, how this uh, envelope works, or well, you know, what is the instruction is going to be right here. We have the attack. We have, you know, not a lot of attack. It's going to be pretty kind of a aggressive. And then, of course, we get the hold and then we get the release. So the hold is how long it's going to be. Yeah, it's pretty long, 10 seconds, which is a bit too much. But we can just make it much shorter, right? We release and it's just still, you know, very long. There we go. And then, of course, we have the decay, which is how long is going to be that decay. So notice it's just very long because it's 10 seconds. If you go to something not that long, you're going to get something a little bit more kind of a, let's say, normal. And there you go. So, okay, so what's the trick on this one? So what I want to do, I want to play some notes and whenever I release them, I just want to provide a little bit of modulation. So I'm going to go right here and say that Every time we release the keys, we can go high on the envelope, uh, high on the filter, and the resonance. That's what we get. Now, of course, it's just maybe, it's just too short, right? So, of course, we're gonna go and provide a nice transition. Maybe a little bit more decay. Much better. Maybe a little bit more hold. And this is what we can do with this. When we release the keys, we are going to get some sound, you know, some modulation. Pretty simple. Now, of course, then you get right here, you get this option, which is going to be uh, where you're going to go. If you want to go positive or negative. So right now we are going from zero to 100%, which is full. Now on this one, if we go the other way, we're going to go from zero to the other way. And of course, you have the, so you can select some in betweens, and now it works like an amount, for example. But you can go into negatives, which is very cool. And that is, we are doing just a tiny bit. All right, so that's it. That's what what this does. Now, of course, you can you can use it for something else. Right now, we are just incrementing the filter and uh, we, the uh, resonance. But maybe I just want it. I want to make it bigger. I just wanted to make it bigger. So I'm going to go and say that I'm going to go a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But I want to go and say that I want to go and increment the delay, maybe the feedback right here, and do the same thing on the reverb. So now we are going to get something else. Maybe I'm going to go and make it bigger. All right, go. Maybe something like that. If it's too aggressive, I'm going to go with a little bit of decay. And there you go, you have a nice effect. So what if I wanted to do something a little bit more crazy, because this is nice. And we get a nice effect when we uh, we release the keys, but maybe I'm gonna go over right here and just do a beat LFO or something, something like that. And I'm gonna go and maybe go right here and do something like that. I'm gonna go back and just play it again. So what I want to do, I want to go right here and do a little bit of craziness. Something like that. But notice that this is happening every single time, you know, just a constant motion. 
and maybe I don't want this. Right? So what I want to do, I want to run this modulation only and only when we release the keys. So, remember on this one, we have a kind of a blend control. I mean, we can go from zero to 100%. So notice if I'm on zero, nothing happens. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go right here and say that whenever we release the keys, we're gonna go from zero to 100%. And all the effect only works when we release. And now we have something a bit more interesting, right? And you can, again, go really crazy on this one. Maybe you want to bring some other things. Maybe a classic LFO or something like that. Or maybe a random. We could bring a random if we wanted to. And this is going to do the same thing. I'm going to go and just, I don't know, do a little bit of that, a little bit of feedback. So I'm going to go some sub and and now it's happening all, every single time. So now I'm going to go right here and just say that the amount is going to be zero. But whenever we get the release, it's going to be 100%. And there you go. Really cool. Really, you know, really useful, useful modulator. And this is very helpful when you use it with something else. Okay. So I'm going to go and just get rid of this and get rid of that. So what I want to do, I want to just do whatever we've been doing, just with a filter and a little bit with a mix, right? The first thing we did. Now, of course, you need to bear in mind that this one is, uh, whatever clip you're using is going to affect how this works. If we have a very small gap right here, uh, the times are going to be just much shorter. And as soon as the new note comes in, it's going to reset whatever it is that you're doing with the envelope. So in this case, remember that, you know, the MIDI that you're playing is very important. So in this case, the attack maybe needs to be a bit more faster. Same thing with the decay and same thing with the halt, because we don't have a lot of space right here. Something like that. Right. So then you have the other thing, which is going to be the per voice. So the per voice is important because uh, remember that all of this, what it, uh, what it does is going to do something when we release the keys. What happens if we release the keys on a different order? Let me just show you how this sounds on default. So we don't hear a lot, but we have, what happens is that we are starting, you know, playing the three keys at the same time. And then I start, you know, releasing the keys. If you're doing a per voice right here on this modulator, uh, where we are not doing a per voice, uh, the, the same thing is going to happen for pretty much everything. So I'm going to go and play it. And only happens when we release this key, you know, because we are kind of a holding the whole keys. So it's just a little bit different. So what's going to happen if we do a per voice? So I'm going to go and do a per voice. And notice that right here, this instruction of the envelope is going to disappear. And now you're going to get a dot for each voice. And it's just a completely different thing because each voice has, has its own envelope. So now, of course, you can do pretty much do the same thing with everything else. Maybe you have more keys. Just do different things. I'm gonna go and maybe do something like that, something like th that. All right, and now you get something a little bit more useful, right? Now, of course, remember that the uh, the envelope that we are using right here is still relevant on what we are doing right now, because maybe it's just too short. I'm gonna go maybe a little bit more hold. There we go. Gonna start again. Right. So remember, the envelope really changes the sound, so you need to pay attention to this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the previous example, and I'm gonna go right here. And I'm just gonna pretty much start over. I'm gonna go and just, you know, remove everything. So this is gonna be, you know, the normal sound. Right? There you go. That's the normal sound. So maybe, you know, right now the I'm going to make it a very long reverb. Just going to go and do the mix. And it's just a very long thing. So maybe it's too long. 
So this is one of the use cases that you get maybe on this one. And for now, I'm just gonna do uh, the non, not for voice. All right. So maybe the tail of the reverb is just too long, right? So now what you can do, since all of this happens when you release the keys, maybe you want to go right here and you want to say, okay, so whenever we release the keys, I'm going to control uh, the mix of the reverb. I'm just going to go down. And that is going down. So now you can control whatever had hap that happens on the effects and you can make it shorter. And we usually do this with automation, right? And again, remember again that the the envelope really, you know, helps right here. All right. So another thing you can do, and I forgot to mention it, is uh, right here. You can do an amount, and this is going to go from 0 to 100%. So if you go lower, it's just going to do a little bit less, right? Now, another thing that you can do, you can go into negatives. So now the instruction, instead of going from 0 to 100%, is going to go from 0 to minus 100%. It's going to go the other way. So, for example, if I'm um, going uh, right here and I'm doing something like that, it's, doing, it's going the opposite way, from 0 to, uh, you know, minus 100%. If I go all the way up, it's just going to go up, right? Fine. So again, just a very simple modulator, but it's a really helpful uh, modulator. This is like the ramp, you know, uh, we discussed on a different video. It's just very simple, but it allows you to uh, do a lot of things that you uh, needed to do with automation. So this is just an easier way of doing this. All right, so hopefully you learned something and uh, remember to like and subscribe and remember to check Patreon because I upload to Patreon every single video way before I do it right here uh, to, to YouTube because I can do one, one video a day on YouTube and I can upload whatever I want to Patreon. So, okay, so see you on the next one.